Welcome everyone to Dark Cosmic Astrology. I am Dark Cosmic and today I would like to talk about Lilith and Chiron, the wounded healer. So, with Lilith, it's actually called the Black Moon Lilith. Um, this is the darkness within people. This is the rebellious nature within people. This is the things that people want to hide from the world. This is what people perceive to be taboo within themselves. Lilith has a lot of connections with Mars and the eighth house energies. So wherever, wherever this is placed in your chart, this is where you feel taboo energies. Now Chiron, on the other hand, is the wounded healer. It is the area in your life or your chart that you have a weakness in a way and you have a, a, a open wound from a past life if you will that that persist in this lifetime and you are meant to get over that shit so let's go into what Lilith does to people so when you experience Lilith you might experience things in your chart like isolation in the area in your chart that Lilith is associated with like I for instance have Lilith associated with my sun sign so a lot of times I didn't feel like I was being paid attention to in class or just in general I felt like I was a loner uh, this happened to me in my work environment a lot and people didn't really know me too well they always thought I was very mysterious and rightfully so I did behave in that way but that's because Lilith gives you another energy which is not wanting to conform to society it makes you not like people because you feel like everybody's following the status quo so you tend to rebel against that um, Lilith was actually was actually the opposite of Eve of when when Adam the whole Adam and Eve story Lilith was the the rebellious wife if you will so I was the guy that just didn't want to join the group now Chiron on the other hand I almost uh, I threw up this guy here which is the doctor from New York show and he's a maniac he's incredibly intelligent but he's a freaking maniac at the same time and I feel like Chiron is like this abusive uh, doctor it has the ability to heal you but yet it can constantly scars you it's uh, and also Chiron is like it's like people are constantly punching you and hurting you in the place that hurts the most it's like you're already bleeding you're already wounded this is an area that's so sensitive to you and yet people persist and insist insist on you know puncturing that wound that wound further so with Chiron there's a lot of need for self-healing there's a lot of need for wherever that is in your chart this is where you need a lot of self-healing and a lot of um, just re reflective you, you need a lot to you need a lot of time to reflect and I would say don't overlook these areas in your chart at all these are very important areas in your chart but this is just my quick analysis on